Hello everyone. <clears throat> so I'm really not sure what I want to say. I just knew that I wanted to say something. I knew that I wanted to um, express myself and be open about my spiritual journey and you know how how things have been going for me. So um, on my journey, I've learned so many lessons. I've learned, you know, for one, I always used to hear that don't take things personal. Don't take what people do or say towards you, you know, personally, because it's really not about you. You know, I've, I've, I've heard that, but to actually experience it and believe it is like a totally different thing like you'll hear that and you'll be like then then like you'll you'll hear it and then your best friend will you know do something wrong towards you and then you'll be like that's not right best friends aren't supposed to do that that's not you know that th they wrong for that or they're a hater or you know you look taking it to too personally and taking it to another level when you know your best friend you know your best friend is struggling with um, insecurities and things that they haven't healed so of course at some point it's going to come out negatively towards you especially if you know they aren't working towards healing things and stuff like that and i'm saying best friend but it could be you know siblings parents you know and, and family members friends husband wife whatever and um but it's not it's really not that they want to do things to hurt you especially you know when you know that they love you or you knew at some point that they did have love for you it's just that <laughs> that that emptiness or that darkness within that a lot of people tend to push away, ignore, or, you know, put a, put a bandaid on it. it. It, it grows, it festers. And, you know, you, sometimes it'll get so big and so strong that you can't control it. You can't control how it comes out towards other people even if even if you don't mean for it to come out at certain people you you can't control it because you haven't healed within you haven't taken that time to find yourself again so it's like um i know i was i i would start a business i've started several businesses and i know i would start a business knowing not not wondering not guessing but knowing that these specific people are going to support me and have my back and each time when i'm thinking it's going to be this these specific people it was never them it was never them that supported me or had my back yeah sure they would be like oh congratulations and things like that but to actually support me and and you know encourage me or you know just just be there to listen to me i did not i did not have that from the people that i expected that i knew i knew for a fact that these people would have my back and it, it just didn't happen and for a long time i was mad at these people i would blame these people for because they didn't support me then i would think that in my head i'm like since they don't support me that's why other people won't support me because people are looking at them like okay well they all close this family and friends and all that but they not supporting them so why should i and that's what else that's, that's what in my mind i would make it up to to be and it's like how can it be that each time that i started a business so it's it it for, for me it it was a learning experience on so many levels like 
for me on so many levels and then for me learning about other people and how you know um they got their own shit going on <laughs> the people have that like i feel like we'll put our all our trust so heavily onto other people that god will test that and god will be like okay well you want this person to do this okay say you don't have a car you need a car you need to ride somewhere and you ask someone and they're like okay i got you when you need me <laughs> so you just automatically assume like okay they got me when when i need them so you just automatically assume that every time you call and they're you know you know if, if it's within reason that every time you call they got you but then it's like at first they got you and then it's like they might miss a time or two and then it's like it gets to another point where maybe they don't answer the phone no more maybe they don't they just tell you well i just can't do it anymore or things come up in their life where they just they really just can't they can't help you and it's like god is like okay you putting all your trust in these people in these places in these situations and these things but what about me like you're here because of me and yet when you need a ride you depend on tina how you think tina got the car <laughs> how you think you came in contact with tina because of god and it's like i i feel like we always want to be mad at people for not supporting us and not having our back but in reality it's it's on us because why are you putting all this trust in these outside people when it is said that god gave you everything that you need all you need is what god blessed you with within you and god and when you start to step out of that and depend on other people like i'm not i'm not a a christian or whatever i'm i'm just spiritual and um i know some things in the bible and i know that there's a scripture in there that says thou shalt not put any other gods before me so in my experience in my opinion it's like putting putting no other god before god is like worshiping or depending on someone else above God like you're not like okay God I know that um Tina has a car so can you bless Tina to be able to get me to work or bless Samuel to be able to get me to school get my children to school or help me get to the grocery store can you bless these people it's not that's not how we look at it we look at it like oh Tina got a car Tina can take me to work. I hope Tina can take me to work. And it's just, it's like God is trying to tell you <laughs> it's not Tina. It's not Samuel. It's not Tom, Dick, and Harriet. It's God. It's it's God that got you through whatever. And it's not that, you know, you can't depend on other people. It's not that at all. It's just that don't put all of your problems or specific or all of a specific problem on one person when god is the one that's going to fix it in the first place like do you think that <laughs> those people are in your life for no reason god put those people in your life for a reason yes god put god blessed them with certain things certain things to be able to help you and support you yes but are you recognizing that they got it from god or are you just fixated on the fact that they have it and you need it you get what i'm saying i hope you get what i'm saying so it's like we we, we go like that's why they say everything is a less a lesson and everything is a test because if you if you know that you need help with the bill financially and you know that someone close to you has the money to 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 help you and you look at it specifically as that person that can help you instead of well god i have this bill that needs to be paid i don't know how i'm gonna pay it please help me god you're not you, you, instead of looking at it like that 
and you focus on that that person has it and then you put all your you count all your bed your, your eggs in that basket and then they're like well i just paid this i can't help you this time and then what you what what what's your next step to be upset with that person because you can't pay your bill and it's like they weren't put here to pay your bill yes they were put here in support of you yes people people are put in our lives to help us to grow but it's we, we shouldn't be you know placing all of the responsibility on that person when we need help because then we forget about that they got their own life they got their own shit going on so of course if you know that if they're not a, a billionaire how they gonna help you when you need help if they got their own things that's going on and then do you does it you okay so if they can't help you then you start to think in your head like the devil getting your ear and like um well didn't they just help Lindsay last month do this and do that didn't they just buy raquel a whole brand new car and you like but when i asked all i asked for was this and they couldn't help me but you don't know that raquel ain't helped paying one note on that car no insurance nothing they paying for that car they paying for insurance they probably paying for gas and everything for raquel raquel is basically being catered to by this person and dwindling down this person's money and then when you need help they can't help you but what i feel like is like everything happens for a reason nothing is coincidence so that <laughs> Okay, that was, that was a message. But the so, so for what that means for me is <laughs> that person is is Raquel is getting blessings, yes. But Raquel is also going through a lesson to see you uh, Raquel, okay, I'm blessing you with this car. What so so what you going to do? Because you don't know what Raquel going through either. You don't know what that person going through. You don't know what Raquel going through either. All you know is what you going through and what you feel. And then when you see what you see on the outside, then you start to doubt other people and their intentions. Even though these people have been there for you for years, they probably haven't been there financially. They probably haven't always been there you know emotionally like but you had these people in your your life for a reason they're either your test is either to let you know that god is god and to put no other god before him or that that person that you've been sticking around with in your life for so long is not meant to go with you to where your next level is and it's like it, it's up to you it, well i'm sure there are other tests that could come out of that situation too but it's up to you to figure out what your test is and how to pass that test it's up to you to figure out okay well i've been doing this this and that and things still aren't lining up for me so what what am i doing wrong it could be that you need to 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 sever ties with a certain person or, or a specific uh group of people or you know a, leave a job or, or something like that it's like if you feel like you are really authentically doing all that you're supposed to be doing or that you feel that you should be doing and things still aren't aligning for you there's something that you have missed and it's not raquel fault it's not Tom, Dick, or Harriet fault or anything. It's on you. So, don't like, okay, so basically, my message is for people who always feel like people, people got, people say they got my back, but then when it's time to have my back, they don't have my back. It, it's, it's for you to realize that you are all you need. Yes, it's good to have friends. Yes, it's good to have a support system. But if those people that are around you aren't helping you or can't help you, it's for a reason. And it's not and the reason is not to be mad at them. It's it's to look deeper, to look at the bigger picture. Like 
okay, Lord, you you got this person in my life, or I feel like you have this person in my life, because actually it could be that you holding on to somebody that you shouldn't be holding on to, but you, you put this person in, in my life that I know has these resources and things like that, but they aren't helping me. What So what <laughs> what's next? What am I supposed to be doing? And listen for God to answer you back. It's you have to, you know, not always look outside of yourself for what the issue is because sometimes it's inside. Sometimes you are the issue. Sometimes it's a mindset, an emotion, or you know, some sometimes it's you. <laughs> that that's my message. Things going on in your life, people mistreating you or people, you know, not supporting you the way you support them or loving you the way you love them. It's It can still be you. And it can be you just because you didn't let them go because they aren't for you anymore. You know, some people, some places and things and situations are seasonal. Sometimes, you know, they, they were meant to be there for you. You on level one they were meant to be there for you on level one, but then it's time for you to go to level two. They're not meant to go to level two with you. They got, they still stuck in their level one. Everybody got their own shit. I said that. So they stuck in their level one, but you ready for your level two, but you trying to bring them with you. So of course, I mean, it's possible to bring someone up to your level, but they have to be willing. And if they're not willing to to come up with you and you ready to go, come up, of course, things are going to get misaligned. Things are going to get misconstrued. There's going to be some confusion going on. But the, the key is to, I'm hearing forgiveness. It's like, you have to forgive them for they know not what they do. Like people are so fixated on their own lives which is that's what you're supposed to be fixated on your own life but when you don't remember that they got their own life too and they don't owe you shit <laughs> when you remember that and stop being mad at these people that they all, all they trying to do is live their life so like it's like forgive people live your life do what feels right for you what you feel guided to do you know, talk to God, trust God, trust that he puts people in your life for a reason and a, sometimes a season. And you have to recognize when he tell you, okay, it's time to cut this person off or it's time for you to move up and you can help them. You can, you can, you know, teach them what you know, and it's up to them to apply it. it knowledge plus application is wisdom so it's up to them to use that as wisdom and if they don't you can't do nothing but keep going forward you don't want to stop your blessings just because your favorite cousin ain't ready to to come up or do what you ready to do you, you get y'all get what i'm saying i hope you get what i'm saying because i was just it just was something that just was on my heart because I have, I have, I know I have been mad at people before for not supporting me. And I, I'm not going to say that I blame them for the businesses that I started that didn't make it because I was the one that gave up on those businesses. It wasn't them. So it's like, I, 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 I have learned to forgive. <laughs> I have learned to forgive people that I know I love these people but you know it just was it was meant for them it was meant for them to live their life but also for me to learn that I put too much into people that I should be putting into God you, you get what I'm saying I should be putting that into God and into myself instead of you know, trying to make these people, trying to hold them accountable when <laughs> they don't have to be accountable. They don't have to be responsible for me or anything that I'm doing because it's my life. Just like I don't have to be responsible for what they're doing. Like I, cho I chose to 
support people the way that I did. I chose to do that, but but that's me. That's who I am. And everybody ain't like me. And I, I had to realize that everybody ain't like Nicole. Everybody ain't like Coco. Everybody don't everybody well <laughs> i've changed a lot but everybody didn't bend over backwards for other people just to make sure other people were straight like i did it was other people who had boundaries it was like um i'm not giving them my last because i got three kids so i can't give cynthia my last but me <laughs> i would be that person that was like well i got three kids but i know that I can spare this because I know what, what will come in to me. So I, I would give my less or I would do, you know, donate my time or my efforts, even if I didn't want to, because I knew that people needed me. And then I also knew that I cared about how others felt and what others were going through, but I couldn't force people to be the same way. So I just had to learn that I am who I am. Everybody who who they are. Everybody is who they are and everybody has their own healing journey, their own spiritual journey that, you know, they go through for growth. And some people move slower than others and some move faster. You know, everybody moves at their own pace and I just had to realize that. And I'm I'm here today to to let you know that yes there are yes you love people that may not support you the way that you want or may require them to support you but are they there for you in any way have they showed up for you in any way maybe not the way that you want but it have they showed up for you in any way and if the answer is yes then don't blame them. Don't fault them for, you know, things that are, are going on with you that, you know, aren't the best situations and, and you want them to help you with it, but they can't. You have to just focus on the fact that they, they was there for me when my family member died. They, they had my back and I appreciate them for that. But if you answer that question is is no if you find that you have people in your life that never show up for you and you always show up for them that's a sign for you to just it's like it's there there has to be some sort of boundary you have to at some point realize that you are worth more you are worth more than people who don't give a fuck about you. They only care about themselves. They only care about what what you can bring to the table instead of them helping you even set the table. You know what I'm saying? So I just wanted to get that message out. I don't know. I feel like I was all over the place because like I have been thinking about not thinking about doing this video, but I have been thinking about these situations for a while. But I just never spoke on them and then I just felt guided today to just to just say my piece and and to hope and in and, and hopes that it'll help someone else because I had to learn it the hard way I, I I lost a lot of friendships because you know I just I didn't feel supported I didn't feel that 50 50 or I don't want to say, I don't like the 50, 50. I don't want to, I don't do the half and half the hundred, hundred. Like you give me a hundred. I give you a hundred. I, I, it has been friendships that I didn't feel the hundred percent that I was putting in. And I left the situation, the friendship alone. And then it was, uh, other situations where I, it would just be one day and they did one thing. And to me, it was one big thing, but it it was big enough for me to just be like, mm mm. But I would be upset with them, and like, I mean, it's okay to separate from people if that's what you feel guided and led to do. But when you separate from people, separate in love, forgive people. 
even if you know even if you was the one that fucked up you know you still have to find forgiveness even for yourself to you know um because even though we want to say that we don't hold on to grudges or hold on to shit we do we most definitely do it might be subtle it might be small but it's there so that's why you have to forgive people because once you forgive people you don't hold those grudges anymore you don't feel upset with them anymore you can see them on the street and still speak to them authentically not that fake stuff where you say I hate it no <laughs> it's like it's it's like a process forgiveness healing recognizing that you know everybody ain't you you know you were you were special and when they say something you know that the phrase cut from a different cloth everybody cut from a different cloth <laughs> i mean come on now it, everybody is cut from a different cloth everyone is special in their own way so you know i don't i i ain't never been a fan of that uh phrase i ain't never used it like it's it's just like yes you cut from a different cloth, okay? Every, so is the person standing next to you, walking behind you, or driving down the street. Everybody cut from a different cloth. But, you know, you just have to remember. <laughs> remember that, no, it's, uh, it's not common to love like you love or to support how you support. That, that's not a common thing. It's rare. And, uh, but there is, I mean, there are people like you, but it's hard to find those people because everybody has a mission and people who are like you are meant to assist other people who aren't like you, you know, like that, that select few, that chosen few who are put here for the specific person, the, the specific reason to elevate others ways of thinking or others ways of living so i mean you'll come across these people but those aren't the ones that that you are gonna be with that they're, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna just you know be there with you because they have their own people their own lives to touch so you know you just have to remember you're special and uh you know you <laughs> are the one that is the um vibration riser you you are the one that is going to rise the vibration as soon as you remember that it's not personal it's not about you it's just everybody got their own things going on and you can either add to their problems to their stresses take away from it or you can help the situation and what i mean by taking away from it is you know by you taking your light away from them because you definitely have a light to shine if you're watching this video you have a light to shine and sh shine um don't let anyone dim your light change who you are or tell you that you know you shouldn't help people or things like that do what you feel guided to do do what makes you happy. And the moment it stops making you happy, that's when you stop it. But I, I, that's it. I done talked y'all ear off enough. <laughs> Probably rambling at this point. I just want to thank everyone for the love and support. For just being here with me on my journey. Believing in me. Trusting in me. Listening to me. And I just want to send you love and light. Namaste.